Hey, half a day from Guam, guys. Hey, the lockdown's starting to lift here in Guam. Uh, people are starting to get out a lot more. Restaurants are opening up. Little bit of a normal life. Of course, we are still all wearing masks here, which I will always wear going to do a, a, an establishment here on Guam. Actually, most establishments will not let you in unless you have a mask on. So, again, just everybody stay safe. Uh, we are starting to see some cases rise. Uh, because people are getting out and about more and they're just kind of letting their guard down and not being as safe and protective as they should or could be. So I'm actually going to head out now in search of some Kit Kats. In Japan, they make so many different varieties of Kit Kats, it's insane. They have uh, raspberry, white chocolate, uh, sake flavored Kit Kats. Uh, green tea is my favorite, hands down. There's a new one, it's a sea salt Kit Kat, it's kind of a white chocolate with sea salt. So we get a lot of those here in Guam from Japan, and I know where they're at. So I'm going to go get some, bring them home, do a little review, show you what they look like, and I think if you guys find them, you'll love them. All right, so let's head out and search for some Kit Kats, guys. Pulling in here to my little secret Kit Kat spot. I cannot film. Uh, not that I don't want to give away my little secret location here, but it's because I can't film. Uh, that may give it away in itself right there. And I hope they have as many variety of Kit Kats that I saw that they had last week. Uh, again, there's there's way more in Japan. Uh, I've had some great ones there. They have an eggnog one at Christmas time. They have some seasonal flavors. Uh, they had a pumpkin spice one in, in autumn that I'd had before. Afternoon. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. you. Guys, I'm gonna hope that didn't give away where I'm at. I don't want to be rivaled by anybody for these Kit Kats. Okay, we are here. Okay, almost here. Okay, we've made it home now, so let's teleport ourselves upstairs and start tasting some of these Kit Kats. Here we go. All right, guys, and just like that, we teleported upstairs. We are now in Callaway's Crow's Nest in the heart of Aganya, the capital city of Guam. So as you noticed in the opening, we were out searching for some Kit Kats. Now, there's only a few places here in Guam that I have found that sell the now famous Japanese Kit Kats, the multiple different flavors. A few places I won't reveal because uh, I love these too much, and I know a lot of other people do too, and, and they'll be buying them out. So Kit Kat's not a new company. Kit Kat started in 1935 in the UK, uh, so they have been around for a very long time. They were one of my favorite candies as a kid when I grew up. Uh, well, in 1988, Nestle, a Swiss company, purchased the rights to make Kit Kats. Uh, so since then, Kit Kat has evolved. They come up with their little taglines, give me a break, give me a break. Give me a break of that Kit Kat bar. Something like that. Anyway, I wasn't known for singing. But uh, so they've been around since 1988 as the traditional Kit Kat, which I picked up one of the originals here. Kind of melted in the Jeep on the way home. But uh, this is the original Kit Kat. Again, one of my favorites. It was just a chocolate covered wafer. I mean, get just to me, it was like a cookie with chocolate on it. Loved it. Interesting fact though, Nestle holds the global license to make Kit Kats. However, in the mainland US, Hershey makes Kit Kats. So if you look at these, uh, the one that I bought here, the original Kit Kat, 
it shows that it is made by Hershey's out of the famous Pennsylvania location. These Japanese ones that I got right here, you look at the back, and they were made by Nestle. So two different major chocolate companies selling in two different locations. So it wasn't until 1996 when Nestle came out with their first flavored Kit Kat. It was simply an orange chocolate. We do have an orange chocolate one here today. However, theirs was a little different. It was just strictly an orange flavor. So then around 2000, things went crazy. In 2000, in Japan, Kit Kats caught on. And the number one reason Kit Kats became so crazy popular in Japan is because there's a phrase in Japan called Kito Katsu. And that simply means surely win or good luck. So just that name of Kit Kat in Japan, Kito Katsu, represents good luck. Japanese love these things. So in 2000, flavors exploded. I mean, they came up with literally 200 flavors at this point. Originally, there was some crazy ones like soy sauce, ginger ale, uh, just a whole plethora. There was the green tea, the sake. Uh, to this day, green tea remains their number one seller. So one of my favorites, I've got an original green tea here that I brought back from Japan in February. I don't have a bag of them, couldn't find those on Guam, but luckily I have one green tea one here that we'll try today. So we're gonna start out here with an orange bag here. This is a chocolate orange. Again, unlike the original orange flavor that came out in 96, this is a Japanese version uh, made by Nestle and a chocolate orange. Notice on the back back here, uh, Japanese love pictures and photos and animations and. So there's a little ad back here, kind of cool. Uh, you can take a photo, send it to who it indicates here on this bag. They will actually put that photo on a Kit Kat bag or a Kit Kat box, and you can have it as a souvenir. Let's go ahead and open these up. Now Kit Kat comes in a couple different forms. You've got the four stick wafers. Japanese tend to make them in little two stick wafers that come in these bags. So let's go ahead and open this. Take a look at it. Now, unlike the original orange that came out in the 80s, this is a chocolate, but it's infused with a little orange in it. So, individual sticks. Lots of orange, lots of chocolate. Kind of reminds me of like a Christmas candy that would have an orange filling in it. So that's the chocolate orange. Next bag I'm gonna dig into here is a black bag. Obviously it's a black bag, it is dark chocolate. So Kit Kat here has a dark chocolate. And again, on the back of the bag are some little fun things to do. On the back of this bag, it actually has directions here how you can cut the bag up and you can make Japanese origami with it, which is kind of cool. This one's got a little bird. And again, this one's made by Nestle. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Let's give this one a shot. Again, represented in a dark packaging here. Another little fun fact here on these. Their slogan has changed. Nestle's went to a have a break, have a Kit Kat. Unlike the, uh, give me a break. Anyway, you don't want to hear that again. But uh, there are little sections on the back of these, little white areas that you could write someone's name on it. Just give it away as a gift. You can write a little Sharpie or something on the back of here. So let's open this, let's give it a shot. It's warm in my house here, so uh, these are a little soft. Now I like that. But just a very, deep, dark chocolate with that wafer. That wafer, that, that, that's the backbone to it all. All right, next one we're gonna do, light brown bag. Light brown bag, again, another Japanese Kit Kat. Same thing on the back. Little origami design. This one here's a bird. Directions on how to do it. This flavor, if you look on here in Japanese, it is a roasted green tea. Unlike 
The green tea, this is a little darker flavor uh, with the roasted, some smokiness to it. So let's give it a shot. It's the same kind of package on the back. It says good job, little area. You can put people's name. Another two stick wafer. Now again, unlike the green tea, which is a green Kit Kat, this one is a light brown. And again, it's a green tea, but it's a roasted green tea. I smell smokiness. That's good. It's definitely got that traditional tea flavor. Again, a smoky, deeper tea flavor since it has been roasted. Almost a bit of a coffee flavor. So there is a little bit of a cocoa or coffee flavor to that. Still good though. Still good. So the last big bag that I have here is Ocean Salt. This is a brand new and it's a 2020 special edition. It's an Ocean Salt. The theme of this one is the ocean. On the front of this package here, uh, there's a sea lion and I've seen some that have whales on them, dolphins on them. I just happened to grab this one. It has a sea lion on it. Again, the theme is ocean. It's called Ocean Salt. Blue bag. Some nice coral, some reef and stuff there. Nice paintings. Now, with this bag on the back, there is also some origami. And it comes out to be a turtle. Okay, the other ones were birds. This one has step-by-step -step directions or instructions here. How to make a turtle out of origami. So some other stuff on the back of the bag here uh, talks about a campaign for a litter-free ocean. So every bag purchased 10 yen, which is roughly a dime more or less, goes to that campaign to help support a clean ocean. Um, I think that's cool. That's really awesome. So let's open this up. Uh, by the picture on the front right here, it almost looks like it's going to be a white chocolate. I assume it's got a salty flavor, which seems to be the thing today. Uh, I really like that little salty sea salt flavor with chocolate. So sure enough, it is a white piece of chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. My favorite. I like white chocolate. It's got that little bite, little saltiness. But, oh, this is it. This is good. Yeah, that one's good. Ocean salt. All right, so that's the four bags I picked up here in Guam. I do have some other ones here that uh, I got while I was in Japan in February. And one of the original ones, as I mentioned, is that green tea. Same theme, spot on the back to put someone's name. Now the green tea, very, very green and color. Traditionally, this is one of the originals. One of my favorite. I love green tea anything. Green tea ice cream. There's a Royce chocolate you pick up in the Narita Airport in Tokyo. Very delicious. Very, very good green tea chocolate. But this is good. Mm. Very good. So you got another one here? Unlike all the other two stick packs, which are horizontal, this one's printed vertical. Kit Kat. Uh, this is a lemon. Looks like, I think, a green tea lemon. Give that one a shot. Same. Very good. It, it, it has that subtle texture of that green tea that the, the one that I just ate has, but there's just a slight hint of lemon, be like having a lemon iced tea. Uh, that's good. I didn't eat the other one because I'm starting to get full on chocolate. So uh, not that I didn't like it, but I am blowing up on chocolate right now. And they've come out with some other ones. This is another new one I picked up in Japan. It was a party ice cream. So this one has like a bit of a vanilla ice cream flavor. Uh, I'm not going to eat that. Again, I'm getting stuffed on chocolate right now. 
Okay. And here's some single sticks. These right here are nutty flavored with some cranberries, little single sticks that come in a bag. Very good, I like these. Again, got these in Japan. Then there's a pink one here. I assume it's probably to commemorate the Sakura, the cherry blossoms. Uh, cherry blossoms has a citrusy, very floral flavor to it. Uh, Again, got that one in Japan uh, right about the time of the cherry blossom. If I had to rank these in flavor on how I like, I think I'd rank them like this. Not that I didn't like any of these, loved them all, but my palate, my flavor. I would probably rank this from the least of the four. That's the orange, the chocolate orange. Okay, just above that one would be the roasted tea. And second to be in my favorite would be the dark chocolate. Really like that one. My overall very favorite of the day of the four bags would be the white chocolate ocean salt. My favorite so far. Again, it's a 2020 special edition. If I had to have any of them, if I just had to have buy these Kit Kats, the original green tea, so aside from that ocean salt, my other favorite would be the original green tea. All right, guys, there you have it. Kit Kat review, Japanese style. Love them. Some of the other snacks I picked up here, hoping to cleanse the palate with chocolate today. I picked up some tempura seaweed. Uh, these are snacks that all the kids in Japan love, including here in Guam, man. This is uh, seaweed, very healthy for you. Don't know how healthy as a tempura snack. Little fried tempura, little seaweed on the other side. So to cleanse the palate with all this chocolate. I'm gonna eat a spicy tempura seaweed kid snack. All right guys, there you have it. Pika Pepper Productions, if you like these, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. Might try to do some other snack foods around Guam here that are easy to get. We're such a melting pot of Asia here in Guam, and we're a central location where lots of people come through here to travel further on uh, to other destinations. So we get a lot of snacks and beverages from multiple Asian countries here that, that folks in the main, mainland U.S. Uh, just wouldn't be aware of and uh, probably would look at it and, and think that they would not like it until they tried it. So open your eyes, folks. Get out there and try different things. Going to have one more of these and we'll sign off now. All right, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe.